Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I get uh, the question often about what is the difference between a software developer and a programmer, or a software engineer and a programmer, uh, whether it's a web developer and software developer and senior software engineer. And uh, I, I think that it doesn't really matter so much. I, I don't know if there's a huge amount of a, of a difference, honestly, to, to tell you the truth. It's really what you want to call yourself and what different people use the term. I mean, it, it means a lot of different things to different people. And a lot of people will say, oh, there's a difference. You know, programmers just write code and software developers develop software and software engineers uh, do, do something else and they get requirements. And But the, the reality of the situation is that we all write code, right? <laughs> we, we all create software. Uh, so it, it might help to actually think about what the actual job of anyone who calls themselves a programmer of any sort is, which is essentially to automate things, right? If you think about it, software development programming is really just the automation of things. We're taking usually manual processes uh, or, or things that someone might do and we're making them automatic. We're, we're codifying them into software so that they become automated. Uh, every useful piece of software automates some thing. You know, it, it might be at a, at a level that uh, that it wouldn't make sense to do manually. Some things, sometimes when we write software, we make it cap we we increase capability where we make something that would have been impossible to do manually possible to do. But but essentially that is what software developers, programmers do. So I don't think that the term is really that important. You know, if I had to say the, the most the best describing term that that describes it, I would say programmers, right? We program computers. Every software developer, every software engineer, every web developer programs computers. They're programmers. And that's the basic skill. That's what you need to know how to do in order to do this job. You can't be anything else. You can't be a web developer, a software developer, a software engineer if you can't program. Uh, with that said, the term that I probably use the most often is software developer. I don't know why. I just like that term, I think, because it gives the idea that you're developing software, which is more than just coding. You know, there, there's a lot of different, and you can't even define this, right? Different developers, different jobs are going to have uh, different requirements on, on what it means to develop software. Uh, one good way to look at it is if you were developing software on your own, if you're a single person developing software, what do you do? And that's what a software developer does. They do all those things that are required. They come up with their requirements, they put that into code, they program it, they package it up and ship it and and get it ready to be sold. So that's that's where, where I come up with the term software developer. I find that that rolls off a little bit easier, uh, but but really, it, you know, what do I call myself? I call myself a programmer. I'm a programmer. I, I write code. That's prim my primary skill. That's what sets me apart and you apart if you're a programmer from other professionals that do other things. You know, just like a doctor is a doctor, <laughs> right? So. Anyway, I, you know, I like to not get caught up on this too much because the other thing to know about this is that different people are going to view this differently. When, when I ask the question, what is the difference between a software developer and a programmer, some people are going to have very pointed opinions about this. Well, a software developer does this and a programmer does this. And the term is going to mean different things to different people. A lot of software developers that come from engineering backgrounds call themselves software engineers and really believe that software development is engineering. I particular, don't particularly believe that. I believe that software development and engineering are, are similar, but also very, very different. That software development or programming is more, uh, is more connected to art and creativity than it is to uh, rigid practice and th that, that engineering often is. But you're, you're welcome to disagree. I mean, there's, you can certainly take a more rigid approach to software development to programming. So the term, again, it, it's going to be, because it's so different to different people, uh, I would just say use the term that you're comfortable with or with, uh, with what your environment, you know, if you're applying for a job, 
then use the term that that job applies for. Look more at what the requirements are, because again, jobs are, are very diverse in this in this field than what the actual title is, because the title might not mean anything. I have seen jobs where they have said senior software engineer, and I and I've seen jobs that said programmer analyst too, and they're the same exact job, essentially same exact requirements. They're looking for the same skill set, so you can't really base it off of off of title. And, uh, and, you know, so I would say use what's comfortable to you, but understand the terms, understand that people will use these terms and don't try to try not to attach too much meaning to them. Pick one particular thing. I wish we would all settle on programmer because I feel like that's a simple word. It's searched for that, you know, the problem with software, even software developer or software engineer is that it's two words. And so when it gets searched, it's broken up right? as two words, whereas programmer, is, it means only one thing, whereas developer could mean like a land developer it can mean a lot of different things. Even just using the word developer itself is slightly confusing. Anyway, I'm talking way too long about <laughs> this topic that doesn't really matter, but that's my opinion on it. Uh, if you've got an opinion on it, strong or otherwise, you know, let me know in a comment below. And uh, if you like this channel, subscribe. Talk to you next time. Take care.